the King Kong banging on your chest You could beat the world, you could beat the war You could talk to God, go banging on his door You could throw your hands up, you could beat the clock You could move a mountain, you could break rocks You could be a master, don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you'll go find yourself Send it in the Hall of Fame I was born in Mutari. It's in Zimbabwe. I stayed there for about two years, and then my father passed, and then I moved off to Ireland. I don't really remember them. There's pictures that my mom has somewhere around, but I don't really feel close to him at all. I feel more close to my stepdad, Dermot. This house is my first home in Ireland, and it means a lot to me. My mom, she was just looking for a single room to rent and Dermot took her in. And then when I came over, after six months of my mom being here, this man that I've never met before, I was just like, who's he? I don't think I liked him very much. No matter how many times he'd walk in the door, I would say, he's back again, ma'am, he's back again. That man is back again. My mom would just be like, shh, shh, this is his house. I started to grow into him. I just started to like him more and more. The house was empty until me and my mom came. It was just all blank. And then everything just started to grow, like pictures of me, pictures of my mom, like accomplishments. After a long time, Dermot proposed to my mom, and they got married. And then it became our house, my house, his house, our house. Like now that I'm older, like I can see my mom sacrificed a lot. She could have left me in Zimbabwe. She could have had a fresh start, but instead she said no. And now I'm over here living in this house. This house is where everything happened. Zimbabwe is where I was born. Ireland is my home. Anyway, how's he doing? Not good, poor kid. You know, we found him in an orphanage. He was totally ostracized because of how he looks, even by his own family. Hopefully, if this works out, they'll accept him again. Oh, well, don't worry. I haven't played football with his mates in a month. I promise you, Kisa. Ready to go. Yes. Right. It's a complex resection of bone, soft tissue, and palate. Anterior maxilla reconstruction will be done via the subcapular axis chimera. We'll use the latimus dorsi for any space filling and the serratus to rebuild the palate. Are there any questions? No? Good. Let's begin. Looking good. 
I can't believe what you've done. Don't have a look. It's the first time you've been able to smile, isn't it? Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're his hero, huh? He says when he grows up, he wants to be a doctor so he can help people like you helped him. Really? Well, I tell you what, why don't you keep that and get you started? All right, take care. Bye, Dan. Bye. Thank you so much. for a spot to have a little shower. Lads, come on, what's going on? Anti-spot wash. It's for your own good, Roy. Please, he can't kill the spot. He's sorry for all his messing. He was only joking. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Look at these fools. Don't worry about them, Roy. So thick they probably have their guns pointed backwards. I, I think he went that way. Come on, come on. Come on. I can't believe he got away. It's not our fault if you can't see the damage that thing's doing. I'm done hanging out with him, but that thing is gone. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. The ball built in your head was almost part of the uniform. Alex, you put me off! So, 12, 13, 14. <laughs> the record's mine again. Come on, guys, let's go. But I've got to get the record back. I want to be the best. Believe me, Alex, it's more trouble than it's worth. Anyway, if you're on unit class, man, 4,523 keep you Hey, he's got to be kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Roy, you are joking. Keep it down, you lost! Why aren't you in class? Hmm. Break time, sir. <laughs> Break time. Break time. Right, I better get a move on. Otherwise, there'll be no biscuits left in the staff room. So. This has to work. I've never seen Ham this cross. Well, not for a while, anyway. Okay, uh, let's start off with a poem. Yeah. Well, maybe we shouldn't. Love isn't something to be taken lightly. But we're doing him a favour. It'll cheer him up. Okay, how about this? Roses are red. Lips are two. Okay, um, come on a date with me. Cause I love you. Oh, brilliant. Way too juvenile. Hammond will know that's not from a real adult. How about this? Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Brilliant, Tommy. Where did that come from? Shakespeare. Sonnet number 18. We just learned it in English. Keep going. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. And summer's sun... And summer suns glistens on your baldy hair. <laughs> How do we get ourselves into this mess? Are you even going to look at me? No, please. It's not my fault. I thought we were friends. I had to. I had to tell the teacher. If I got caught cheating and you got caught cheating, you know what my mom's like. 
Just because I don't have a map? Is that it? I didn't even mention that. You didn't need to. Well, look. I'm going to do something really nice for you right now.